Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Wedding season is still in full swing, everybody. And as overwhelming as a wedding dress and dressing for and shopping for a wedding can be, our next guest says with some thoughtful planning, you can find a dress that you can treasure forever. You'll look perfect for pictures and you won't break your budget. Please welcome our friend, wedding and event planner, Mr. Brian Keith. Thank you. <laughs> yes, thank you for coming. We all thank know you. that I am engaged and I have yes. a fianchi and I'm about to get married. Yes. And uh, Wedding dresses can be uber expensive. Yes. So how can we get an affordable yet high quality mm -hmm. wedding dress? So we have a couple of ways. One is have your seamstress um, design a dress for you. Ooh. So if you see a dress that costs extremely expensive, go to your seamstress and she can recreate it for you. Rent a dress. Now listen. You don't want that dress to stay in the closet forever, taking up your space, so rent it, accessorize it, make it your own, and take it back. You can save a lot of money that, that way. That's a good option. Save a lot of money that way. Okay, so why don't we take a look at some gowns? Yes, absolutely. So our dresses today were provided by Uncore um, Formals and Bridals. Okay. All of their dresses, affordable prices. And our first model is our junior bride, Ooh. Angel. All right now. That is gorgeous. Angel is wearing a um, Casablanca beloved dress. Mm -hmm. What I love about this dress are They're the pockets. pockets. Yes, oh, that's yes. super uber so cute. You can collect all your money mm -hmm. during your rehearsal, your wedding, yes. right? Uh, um, ooh, very appropriate um, for a junior bride. And the cost, da -da 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 -da, $825. Oh, okay, not bad, not bad. Not okay, bad. but not she, bad. she's gonna. Uh, Make the bride look bad though, cause she looks <laughs> absolutely gorgeous. Okay. Well, you know, dresses usually cost between five thousand on up to Child. ten thousand dollars or more. So this is really, really affordable. Okay, yes. so uh, let's look at the second dress. Second dress, mm -hmm. we have our lovely Tamia. Okay. And while we wait for Tamia, what should we bring to a fitting? Please bring your shape, wear, and your heels, lady. This is very important because it'll show the height mm -hmm. that you need to be, and then it also put you where you need to be in the dress. So Tamia is wearing also a Casablanca dress as well. I love all the detailing, yes. the lace. No jewelry is needed mm -hmm. because you have all the bling and around it. Embellishment at the top, and nice it, sparkle on the bottom. Yes, and it shows yes. her figure perfectly. Now this dress is only fifteen hundred dollars. Oh wow, that's nice, especially with all the beading. After Absolutely. I this like is a couture, that. so for couture, $1,500 is perfect. Yes, yes, yes. So uh, we have another dress, don't we? We have another dress. Yes. Let's get to that next dress. And now, this one is my favorite, Tell Amanda. Tell me why it's your favorite. Because this is non-traditional. Okay. Non-traditional. Ladies, you can wear a dress other than white, ivory, or cream. This is a black dress. She's still giving us bride. Yes, with a nude underlay nude there. Underlay that gives Absolutely you the, the nice. Yes, and then all the detail, the flowers, the bling on the belt. And this dress actually can be a sweetheart dress, or you can actually put it over the shoulders. Oh, nice. And it comes with or without that sash belt? Correct. Yes. So, we, so what I wanted to show you was, make it your own. Doesn't matter the cost. Mm -hmm. Make it well, your own. It matters own. the cost. It, it matters the well, cost, and, and that's right? Why, and that's why this was only $2,000. Oh, from very five, nice. From 5000 to 2000 at Encore. Ooh. Okay, so buying a dress as a whole, because there's so many options. Mm -hmm. And you know, you try on, you try on, you try on, and it's just like, oh, I like this, but I just don't like this part. But right. it, can be, it can be so frustrating right. when you're buying a gown. So what are some factors we need to keep in mind when we're buying a gown? When you're buying a gown, make sure that it works for you. It works for your body. You can move in it. Remember, you're in this dress all day. So you want it to be comfortable. You want it to be you know, flowy. So just make sure you have your shapewear and everything with you the day you try on your dress. Okay, well I see these two beautiful dresses over here. Yes. Can you tell us about this first one? I like this. It's very sleek, very amazing, lots of embellishment, but yes, simplistically. Yes. This one is also a Casablanca dress as well. Um, you can wear it on the beach or you can <laughs> wear it inside, right? Very nice. Yes. And then the second one we have here is a more Lee gown. It's another couture gown as well. I love all the detail at the bottom, all of the um, bling. And again, they're both affordable under $1,000. So how can we be sure that we are actually getting a dress that's great for our body types? Because sometimes we can fall in love with the dress, yes. but it doesn't necessarily complement your body style. So be sure, again, you have to have your 
um, your shapewear with you. You have to have your shapewear and make sure that when you put it on, it goes into all of your curves. You mm -hmm. don't want anything poking, bulging. If it does, take it off. Well, but if, if you have on your shapewear, because mm -hmm. you remember, like you said, you have to wear this dress all day long. Right. Is, there, is there a specific type that we need to keep in mind? Um, you don't want it to be so, so tight in the middle. So mm -hmm. that's why I say it's important because some things have um, pull in the dress. So that's why you have to wear your shapewear to see how it feels with the shapewear in the pool. Okay, so that's we're going to bring all the ladies back yes. out so, it can, so we can see these amazing dresses. Now, what can we do about repurposing a dress? Repurposing, again, like we did with Amanda, you can take off sleeves, you can um, sometimes cut the dress if you want it to be a little bit shorter. So there's different different ways that you can do this. And today, Casablanca um, dresses showed us that. We can make it different ways. Um, Dang, that's even cuter in the back. In the back. So you're making it even the, harder, Brian. The, but I want to thank you for this awesome information. Yes. And for more information for you on how to save on your wedding dress, go to BrianKeithProductions.com. And stick around, because you we always have more in Sister Circle. Yes. <laughs> this is not easy.